Chris Roberts born May 27, 1968, is an American video game designer, programmer, film producer and film director. He created the Wing Commander series while at Origin Systems and is now working on the crowdfunded space simulator Star Citizen. Biography <inaudible> 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 Born in Redwood City, California in the United States, Roberts grew up in Manchester, England. He attended Pars Wood High School, the same school as computer music composer Martin Galway. As a teenager, he created several video games for the BBC Micro, including Strikers Run, Wizardor, and King Kong. Topic: <laughs> Origin Systems. Roberts returned to the United States in 1986. He found a job at Origin Systems, where he created Times of Lore, published in 1988. The game's interface had a strong influence on other Origin products such as the popular Ultima series. A similar game system was used in Roberts's next release for Origin, Bad Blood 1990. Wing Commander was published later in 1990 and was highly acclaimed. Wing Commander and the franchise it spawned soon became Origin's most successful product. Roberts wasn't as heavily involved in the sequel Wing Commander 2, which he only produced. He instead concentrated on Strike Commander. First shown to the public at Summer CES 1991, the project suffered from numerous delays and was not released until 1993. He returned to Wing Commander soon after, devising the original concept for the spin-off Wing Commander, Privateer which his brother, Aaron Roberts, produced and being more deeply involved in Wing Commander 3 and Wing Commander IV. For these sequels, Roberts directed the live-action cinematic scenes. Roberts's major role in developing the Wing Commander games led Next Generation to name him one of their 75 most important people in the games industry of 1995. Following the traditions of Origin Systems, Chris Roberts's residence at the outskirts of Austin, Texas was named Commander's Ranch, a reference to the Wing Commander series. Topic Digital Anvil Roberts left Origin in 1996 and founded Digital Anvil along with EAPC National Sales Manager Martin Gerald Davies, Tony Zurevic, Eric Peterson, John Miles and his brother Aaron Roberts. The fledgling studio set up shop in Austin and for several years worked quietly, inking a publishing deal with Microsoft in 1997. Roberts had stated that he desired to produce films as well as games with Digital Anvil. The 1999 feature film release of Wing Commander directed by Roberts himself, starring Freddie Prinze Jr. and featuring visual effects from Digital Anvil failed to attract either critical praise or financial success. Digital Anvil's first finished game was Star Lancer, released to a generally favorable critical reception in 2000. Developed jointly between Warthog and Digital Anvil, the game was produced by the Roberts brothers, and Eric Peterson. The company was acquired by Microsoft soon after, who sold two of Digital Anvil's projects Conquest Frontier Wars led by Eric Peterson, and Loose Cannon led by Tony Zurevic to Ubisoft. Roberts left the company after the acquisition, abandoning the director position of his ambitious project Freelancer, although he remained with the game in a consulting role for a while. The game was commonly regarded as vaporware due to its promised release date of 2001 however it was eventually released in 2003 with a markedly different feature set than the initial plans. It was received very favorably with a Metacritic score of 85%. Point of No Return Entertainment, Ascendant Pictures After leaving Digital Anvil, Roberts founded Point of No Return Entertainment, planning to produce films, television and games. However, no projects materialized from Point of No Return. Roberts founded Ascendant Pictures in 2002 and served as a producer for a number of Hollywood productions including Edison film, Timber Falls, Outlander film, Who's Your Caddy, The Big White, Ask the Dust film, Lucky Number no. Slevin and Lord of War. In 2005 actor Kevin Costner sued Ascendant Pictures for breach of contract on an unreleased film. The company later was acquired by Bigfoot Entertainment in 2010. Topic. Cloud Imperium Games 
In 2011, Chris Roberts founded Cloud Imperium Games, together with his business partner and longtime international media attorney Ortwin Fryermuth, to work on a new game. In October, 2012, Cloud Imperium Games launched a crowdfunding campaign on their web page to produce a space sim game, Star Citizen, and later added a Kickstarter campaign in conjunction. By November, 2012, they had earned $6,238,563, surpassing all stretch goals set for the campaigns, and breaking video game industry crowdfunding records. Chris Roberts had stated that if at least $23 million could be raised over the course of the crowdfunding campaign, no outside investors or developers funding would be required. This goal was reached October 18, 2013. Topic. Works Video games films <laughs>